What is up heroes, this is Midnight Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Silent Hill Blind. In the last episode, I spent a lot of time looking through the hospital, trying to figure out where I need to go next, what item I needed to find, etc. It turns out, from looking at the guide, I actually have an idea of what I'm supposed to do, and it turns out I didn't exhaust all of my item options with all of the things that I can actually interact with. So, we're gonna head back up to the second floor, I believe. And then we'll be able to continue from there. Again, thank you for your patience. Um, okay, we're on the second floor. Unlike the previous couple episodes, it hasn't been forever since I recorded the last episode, so I have an idea of how to play the game, I have an idea of what we've done and where we're trying to go. And in here we have this this monster, this tentacle monster. <laughs> What is the, what's the phrase? I've seen enough Yuri and I don't know where this is going. <laughs> um, okay, so what we actually need to use is the blood packet. Because this monster is blood hungry. And so we need to, we need to appease it by giving it some blood to munch on. So that while it's distracted, we can pick up the final plate. The plate of the Hatter. So the whole idea is, I think, Alice in Wonderland themed. And now that we have done that... We can finally finish that puzzle in the nurse's room. So, over there we will go. And luckily, we've already done a majority of the thinking we need to do. <laughs> so I don't really need to re-familiarize myself with the, uh, oh wait, it's asking me which one I need to remove. I don't need to re-familiarize myself with the different lines of text in the, the riddle, which wasn't as obtuse as the piano puzzle. Um, luckily, so we didn't spend too much time on it, but all right. It sounds like we got it unlocked, ready to go. Oh my. Hello there. Um, run, 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 run. Ah, uh, that was not effective. Oh, I just took a second hit. Probably not doing so hot. That was like rapid fire. Probably still need a stomp. Okay. So, it looks like on our right is the operating prep room, then there's the operating room, the ICU, the, and then room 205, 206. Oh, it seems we still have somebody waiting for us. We've got a, a nurse friend over here. Three. Okay. So, it seems like the, the snipes from afar are a bit more effective. Let's take care of... Oh, this one's running at us. Okay, so we got... What? Um, we're gonna heal up. Why is this one taking so much longer to, to kill, right? Am I, am I going crazy? The other one we shot three times from afar and it worked well. This one, it's taking like seven, eight. Now, I'm not... Harry, I'm not expecting like headshots consistently when you're this close. But at the same time... I mean, come on. Okay. So we've at least cleared up the hallway. We can reload. Uh, I have a, uh, a message from Reddit. Um, oh, that's an un unfortunate message. Um, but I'll have to deal with that later. Now, did I just hear something? Okay, turns out I did hear something. Um, but anyways, let's head into the operating prep room while we're here, and... Okay, something is charging at us. Oh, run away! Back up! Back up! Back up! <laughs> okay, from afar... Took quite a few hits yet again. It doesn't seem we're quite out of uh, harm's way yet, though. Three, four... Five, six... And then a stomp. And that will probably end it. Okay. So let's reload to be safe. And speaking of uh, being safe, let's heal up again. Again, we can probably just use one of our health drinks. And we're back at... Oh, wow. Already kind of like a green. That's good. Uh, we could head into the operating room. Is there anything going on in the center here? Or is it just kind of an odd setup for a room?
doesn't seem like there's anything too crazy going on. Alright, so that one took seven plus a stomp. Yeah, it seems like, well, understandably, the damage is different based on where you attack them. And Harry isn't always the most consistent with his shots, which is fine, because, you know, he's not... That's not his daily life. There's a basement storeroom key. Okay, so that's really good to know. Um, so we now have access to the basement storeroom. The other... The question is, is there anything else in here of relevance? It doesn't seem so. So then I guess we'll head out and, and check the rest of the rooms on this floor. Starting off with... Oh, camera? Doing alright? This guy over here. Where are we getting attacked from? Here? Over there? No, it'll definitely be from over here. Where are you? Where's the monster? Oh, there it is. Man. I've, uh, um, I think I gotta learn how to strafe, or we get more comfortable with strafing. I feel like that'll be my, because I always try to, like, turn and run whenever I'm around one of these things, but it never actually ends up working, because they're already too close to me. It looks like that medicine bottle on the other side is something I can actually interact with. So what do we have here? A disinfecting alcohol. Okay. That will be helpful, I'm sure. Um, nothing unusual there. What about these? Probably nothing of interest. Where can we go from here? Are we connected to anything? This is the ICU. Doesn't look like there are any other doors. Alright, then I think I think we're good. Alcohol bottle looks empty. Then we'll move on to our next section. Yeah, so let's see. How do I uh how do I strafe again? So like while I'm in battle stance, it's L1. It's so, it seems so slow, but I think that'll be my best bet of actually moving laterally while in the middle of combat with these enemies, because what I'm currently doing doesn't seem to be working too well. So that lock, or that lock is jammed. Let's try room 206. Anything in here in this corner? I don't hear any enemies, so we can explore somewhat freely. Anything on the floor over here? This looks like a save area. Oh, no, that's not a notepad, it's just a first aid kit. Okay, so we've still got like seven or eight health drinks. We've got like 10 plus first aid kits. We've got four or five of those ampoule things. Uh, so we're, we're doing pretty well. Okay, and so we unlock this door, which is nice. And now, now what? Now we go down to the basement, right? And we have the key to the storeroom, so we can go there. The other alternative is I could go to the director's office and save, but I think we're doing... We'll, we'll be fine on health, I think. Just given the number of healing items uh, we have, like I just mentioned, we should be fine. Every time we, they load a new floor, it takes long enough that I feel like it's loading a cutscene, but it's really just entering the area. Okay, so which of these is the storeroom? I believe we're in front of the morgue. Okay, yeah, so the, the storeroom will be down here on the right. Just so I have an idea of where we're at health-wise, so I know when we need to use a health drink. Okay, it looks like if I take any damage, I should use one of these health drinks. Basement storeroom key. What are we going to find in here? So ominous. What is that, like, grumbling in the background? And what is this purple box? Is this some sort of ammo? Oh, shotgun shells. Okay, anything in the closet? Or the, these drawers? No. Some empty bottles. What's on the bottom shelf over here? That doesn't look like anything. Okay. What else is in here? There's got to be something of more interest in here. There's no way... There's a bottle filled with some kind of drug. Better leave it. Okay. Handgun bullets. I mean, we'll take those. We've been using quite a few of them. But is that really all there was to this room? Just ammo? I feel like we did so much to to make our way down here that it's a shame if it's all just just ammo in here. There's got to be something going on with this. Yeah, look, it looks like we can push it if you look at the ground. Can we? Do I want to push the cabinet? I do. 
Oh my, so we've got a hidden door behind here. This is gonna be awfully creepy. Let's see what's going on. Surprisingly, no enemy jumped out at us. What are we gonna find back here? What is it? What's up with this area here? Looks like a hallway under the grate. Okay, so there's a there's a floor below. Can't move it since the vines have grown around it. Ah, uh, so. Oh, you know what? We probably have to use the the alcohol on this and then light it on fire. That's probably what we got to do. Isopropyl alcohol. Yeah, we'll use that. Yeah, this is a pretty neat, pretty neat puzzle. Okay, and then the lighter. Hopefully we're not standing too close. And kaboom! It's probably pretty chilly in the basement. Can use that fire. I could use that fire right now. My basement is so cold. My feet are freezing. Alright. Down the hatch. Whoa. For those of you that have played Corpse Party, this reminds me of that sort of like underground basement area from that game. Whoa. The hallway extends so far. The camera. So intense. So dramatic. Oh my, hello there. Two, three, four. Are you dead? I know there's another one. Sounds like we're hitting at least. Do I need to stomp? Oh, but there's still another one. There's still something. Okay, I see you off in the distance. Alright, we managed that pretty well. I'm pretty sure I went over the 15 bullet limit for this, this gun's magazines. I'm shocked I haven't had like a... Oh wow, we're actually kind of running low on handgun bullets. Uh like a reload animation or anything like that. Yeah, we've only got 51 total bullets left. So I should probably start trying to use the the hammer or the shotgun maybe or something like that. I don't have a map. Okay, I didn't think so. So there's this area here. What's down here though? Okay, there's a more of like a graded area. All right, we'll come we'll come back to that. What's going on over here? Okay, yeah, we're gonna switch to the shotgun real quick because I don't think we can afford to use all of that. Whereas we have a good amount of, you know, shotgun ammo. Okay. Oh, so that, uh. Oh, what? Why did you do that? Why did you turn and kick that one? Oh, well, let's try using the emergency hammer. Come on, swing! Oh my, you don't seem to be doing so hot there. The guns were definitely a cleaner kill. So we're pretty low on HP, so we'll use one of our health drinks and get back to a healthy status. The shotgun was pretty effective, but I wasn't sure if it was reloading the barrels and that was what the delay that I was thinking of was or, or something. So we've got quite a few rooms on the sides here. Anything on these tables? Anything on the ground here? Looks like maybe, no, okay. I'd imagine most of these are going to be locked, but of course, in the interest of exploring everything... Oh. Oh my! What was that sound? Huh? What is that sound? It's like, like glass shattering, right? But I'm not seeing anything in the room, period. All right, Silent Hill, I see you. I see you. That was a little spoopy. <laughs> Let's see what's across the hall. Oh! All right, Slugfest. So, something worth noting is that we weren't quite quick enough to get both hits in before they were able to hit us once. So we might end up trading a lot more with um with this weapon so we got a videotape so we obviously know where we can play that 
So that'll be good to know. Hopefully I actually have the chance to do that. I'm not trapped down here. I hope, you know... Let's see. So this is where I came from. I've still got plenty of doors to explore down here. Well, we can check out these areas first. This one's jammed. How about this one? That one's jammed as well. How about down here? Okay. What's this? What is this? Looks like someone's been here. I mean, this is a hospital, right? Or maybe in this, are you talking about specifically this like altered hospital or whatever? Alessa. Okay. Who are you? Alessa? Interesting. Can I... There's there's clearly a key next to it. A bed? What's it doing here? Who would... Wait. There, there. Oh, that's right. There weren't actually beds in the other rooms. Okay, an examination room key. Okay, so I think that's probably the main thing from down here. Can we check out this window or mirror or whatever it was? No? How about over here on the side? Shelves, cabinets. Alessa. So was Alessa one of the patients here? I think that's what we're supposed to presume. Uh, this was the last room in this hallway we we're supposed to check. Okay. So now we can head out. <laughs> that emergency hammer is so long. I would really like to check out what happens if we do this. Nope. Lock. Lock is jammed. Okay. So it looks like we've explored all that we can down here. So what I would like to do next is, before we accidentally trigger another part of the story or something like that, that prevents us from, I don't know, going backwards at all, I would like to check out the video player and see what's on the VHS. I wonder if more enemies have shown up. What's my health status? Okay, about middle of the road. Doesn't sound like more enemies have shown up. So, <clears throat> again, the video was on the third floor, I think? Yeah. And we can get across. Okay, so we can just take the elevator up there. That's convenient. So, up to the third floor we go. I was gonna say, why did like the music load for a moment and then cut out? Okay, let's see, where was it again? I think we have to cut across to the other side, yeah. So we've gotta go through the linen room first and then we'll be able to go to the, uh, the video room. Okay. And it should be right across from us. Oh, we can save too. Because we have made a good amount of progress. We explored that underground area. We found the picture of Alessa. We got a couple keys. We got past the tentacle monster. Okay. Videotape. Nothing on the label found on second floor hospital basement. What are we going to see? Hmm. Interesting. So one of the patients related to the, the VHS, there is a fever um, and a very faint pulse. And then the, the skin or wounds are oozing potentially. And something about a child and not telling someone. So maybe this patient was acting particularly strangely or weirdly and it was a concern. And so they were taken away to like a hidden part of the hospital and monitored and suboptimal uh, conditions. Interesting. Okay, so we've seen that. 
Now it's time to go to the examination room because that's what we have the key for. So the question is, where is that? It is on the first floor. Okay, so we can go through the medicine room to get the examination room, the office, reception, and waiting room. Is this the right way? No, I think this is the right way to get to the elevator. Come on. <laughs> there we go. Gotta love tank controls. So again, a little bit of a picture, you know, a little bit of insight into the story of what's going on in Silent Hill. Far from a conclusive answer, but it's alright, we'll take what little bits of information we get as we as we can. So we're down on the first floor, and we can finally get to the, the last areas we haven't really explored fully. We still haven't figured out what's going on with the steel plate, the bird cage, or that that slate. I'm not confident that they will turn out to be something. They could have just been red herrings. It seems we've used most of our items up until this point, though, so I do feel like we are getting closer to the, the end of the puzzle. So we can go in this room. And then we can finally cut across into the examination room. I think this is the room we found that one doctor in when we first showed up at the hospital. Maybe we'll find someone else in here again. Whoa, the music. Oh, that's a person. Who are you? You're a nurse and you're not going to kill me. You don't have some, like, hump of your back and you're, like, limping towards me? Who are you? That was a very aggressive hug, without saying anything. Finally, someone else who's okay. Who are you? My name's Lisa Garland. Lisa. What's yours? Harry Mason. Harry, tell me what's happening here. Where is everybody? How did she get to this version of the hospital? I must have gotten knocked out. When I came to, everyone was gone. It's awful. So you don't know anything either. Great. <laughs> At least you both don't I know don't together, it. rather than alone. It's like this is all some kind of bad dream. Yeah, it certainly seems yeah, to be operating that way. A living nightmare. Let me ask you, have you seen a little girl around here? Short, black hair, seven years old? She's gonna say yes. A seven-year-old girl. What, she's your daughter? Yes. A seven-year-old girl. I can't say Darn. what I have. <laughs> I was unconscious all this time. She was unconscious. I'm sorry. What happened? How did she get here then? Ah, that's all right. Was she brought here? Do you or know is this all in their heads? About all that weird stuff in the basement? No. Why? Is there something down there? <laughs> oh yeah. You don't know? Don't you work here? We're under strict orders never to enter the basement storeroom. Interesting. So I really don't know. So it's clearly being covered what did up. You say it was down there. Well, it's. I'm sure there was something experimental going on. Damn! My head! What's wrong? Huh? Harry? Harry, let me help you. What's going on? Harry? Was I dreaming? You were too late. Oh no, it's probably the old lady. What's she doing here? It's you. You were too late. Yes, Dahlia Gillespie. Dahlia Gillespie, so we know your name. What are you doing here? Tell me everything you know. What's going on? And we were too late. Too late to darkness. who for what? Huh? The town is being devoured by darkness. Are we becoming somewhat more transparent? Strength must overcome petty desire, childish sleep talk. I knew this day would come. What are you talking about? I don't understand a word of this. You and me both, Harry. <laughs> Believe the evidence of your eyes. 
The other church in this town, that is your destination. This is beyond my abilities. Only you can stop it now. Only we can stop it? Have what are we stopping? Have you seen the crest marked on the ground all over town? I mean, we have. So that's what I saw in the schoolyard. What does it mean? It is the mark of Samael. Don't let it be completed. Interesting. Hey, wait! Who is she? How does she know all of this? Why isn't she doing anything about it? Why is it all up to us? The town is being devoured in darkness. What does that even mean? What can we do about that? Right? It seems we're back in the normal hospital now. Did we miss a boss or something? Because because we were too late? Did we see an extra thing that we weren't supposed to and that's what translated to taking too much time? I don't know. The music doesn't sound as eerie and we've been given another destination, right? Another another church in town and yeah, looking at the map, it looks like it looks like that's all for the hospital. How odd. Need experience nonetheless. So I guess that if, if that really is all the hospital has to offer, then we can head out. And make our way to the second church. What's the outdoors going to look like? Is it going to be super dark again? Or is it going to be typical daytime, foggy? Oh, that's right. They're the, the dogs that are like right outside the door. Can you, can you not, guys? Can I not go out that way? Or am I supposed to go over this way? Can I not? Please? Oh, why didn't the X button work before? Oh well, I guess it's not the end of the world, but we are relatively low on HP. We've got three of these ampoules, we've got 11 first aid kits, we've got six, now five health drinks. I'm still a little bit concerned about the handgun ammo. We went through quite a bit of it in the hospital, so I can only imagine what our next destination is going to, you know, hold for us. We do have plenty of shotgun shells now, and we do have this melee weapon, which seems to be a bit more effective than the knife, at least. Let's take a look at our map, see where we are, because it's been a minute since I've, uh, I've been here. Now, we have this circle over Alcamilla. Can I check out the hospital on the other side? Didn't I see? Wasn't there part of a vision about the antique store in the top right corner? There was something about it. So the other, she said our destination was the other hospital. Did we get the key to that? It looked like she gave it to us. Is that something that would show up in our inventory? Doesn't look like it. Hmm. I don't know. Where, where even is the other church? I could try going to the other side, right? I don't see anywhere on here. And usually it's it's circled. It says Alcamilla Hospital is still circled, but I don't remember, does it keep them circled even if they're destinations from the past? I think our best bet for the time being is to try to head back to the other side of town and see what's going on on the map there. So we'll stick to this wall until we're able to turn left. And then we can cross the bridge. Oops. Sorry, Harry. Didn't mean for you to run into that wall. Okay. I forget, do I have to go into that control center in order to do this or can I just run across? Okay, I can just run across. That is much more convenient. Now let's take a look at the map. So there's the first church, there's the elementary school. What's interesting is that those circles have check marks in them. And I don't think that was the case before. It looks like on Elroy Street, I don't remember if that was circled or not before. Either way, Alcamilla Hospital, I think, I don't think it actually had the check mark in it. 
So there might still be something we have to do there. Although it looked like we could just head out. So let's take a look. Yeah, it doesn't have the check mark in it. Which makes me think there's still unfinished business there. Did I maybe just not pick up the key? Did she like leave it on the counter or something and I completely missed it? We can take a brief look. I'm not gonna explore the entirety of the hospital again in case there's, you know, some random thing. We didn't end up doing anything with that red liquid. Uh, so maybe that's part of it, but I don't know. Either way, we can head back. At least we're not being bothered by too many swoopy swipers. <laughs> Term I haven't used in a while. Okay. Here's the hospital. And again, just to the right. What do we have in here? Is there something I didn't pick up? Was it in that exam room? That's what I get the feeling of. Did she like leave it on here? It looks like that might be it on the corner. Yes, it was. There's the antique shop key. Okay. So now we're probably, probably good and can head out over to the antique shop. I knew I remembered that something was mentioned about the antique shop. Let's save again just to be safe. Okay. And when we head out immediately to the left so we don't get mauled by these dogs. And now that we're out, Let's take a look at the map and see if we have a nice check mark. We still don't have a check mark! That's a little bit concerning. What is that sound? What in the world is that sound? That was a very odd, very strange sound. So we can go up here, turn right on Sagan Street, which looks like it's the next street we're able to turn right on. And looks like we're running into a few of these enemies, these doggies. And then we're going to turn left at the next intersection. And then it should be all the way down on our right. It's, it sounds like it's getting louder as we get closer to the antique shop. How odd, it sounds so like distorted. I think it was like further down here on the right. Wasn't it? Yeah, it was like right here, right? Yeah. Interesting, so this wasn't marked on the map even though we had the key. So we would have had to look at that map, antique green lion or something. That's such blurry text. Regardless, We've made it here. We've used the antique shop key. What are we gonna find? That sounded awfully ominous. Oh boy. Are we at our next little dungeon, our next little segment? We'll turn on the flashlight. Oh, somebody mentioned that's right. I can do that with the circle button, right? So they're clearly suggesting we, uh, there's a clock, nothing special. It looks like it's three o'clock. They're suggesting we save. Huh. Definitely looks like an antique shop. I wonder I wonder how deep the antique shop goes. Oh, so we don't even have a map of specifically this place. It's still of the city. Can I not save? Okay. All right. Well, we've made it to the antique shop and I think we're going to we're going to explore the rest of it, see how many floors there are, see if there's anything interesting with the items here, see if we're going to find that old lady again, Dahlia. So ominous. Uh, in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I think we're done with the hospital now. It's really interesting to hear about the the storehouse, right? The basement was locked to all of the employees. There was clearly some shady stuff going on there. Uh, VHS revealed a little bit about what was going on. We saw that picture and clearly that's relevant to the mystery. I'm still not sure, you know, what is this even a real like universe? Is this a real Silent Hill? What's this whole overcoming or, you know, being devoured by darkness? The whole idea of like a poltergeist I'm I'm very confused. Uh, this doesn't seem to this world doesn't seem to abide by typical physics. 
uh, which which contributes to the idea of you know maybe this isn't a real world per se, but yeah, I'm sure I'm sure we'll get some more answers as we keep chugging along, and I hope you guys are looking forward to it. But until the next episode, this is Moon Knight Zero, and this mission is complete.